Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 5th of June 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages today. Show me the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages, please. Oh, Queen of Wands. <laughs> the Fool and the Queen of Wands could definitely be a fire sign. Could be somebody who is in a more feminine energy right now. Three of Wands. This is some, yeah, they're, they're in more feminine energy. This masculine is in the feminine energy. They're manifesting something to come towards them. They could be manifesting their feminine to come towards them or women in general. So this could be one of those men who learned that they need to be in empress energy in order to attract women to them. They want to be the woman, basically. They want to be the empress. Lots of men have learned this tactic now. That they're not supposed to show any attention to women so that women can uh, chase after them. So yeah, there you go. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. That's the case here. So he's in Empress energy. He's trying to attack. Attack. He's trying to attack. Eight of Swords. He's trying to attack by uh, not attacking. I don't know. <laughs> he's like a Venus flytrap. He's turned himself into a Venus flytrap. That's how he attacks. With Eight of Swords, that's a trap. Okay, Venus flytrap man. Yeah, exactly. Queen of Wands again. Queen of Wands reversed. He's in distorted feminine energy, this supposed divine masculine. <coughs> okay, three of swords. He's a heartbreaker, four of swords. 44 could be significant. Maybe he's 44. Four of Wands. So this is somebody's divine masculine, but he's in distorted feminine energy. Knight of Wands. He's a player. He likes to sit there and attract people towards them so that they, he, he can play them like a fiddle. Six of cups. Yeah, and they come towards them with the little flowers. Lots of women, a group of women, a, a bunch of women come towards this guy and give him flowers and stuff. I don't know, uh, love offers. Yes, exactly, that's what happens to this guy. He just sits there and manifests seven of wands reversed. But he's overstepping people's boundaries because uh, he's using some kind of magic, some kind of glamour spell, some kind of come to me uh, to um, overstep these people's boundaries and to make them come towards them. Yeah, so that's what I'm getting here. King of Pentacles reversed. It's a distorted masculine here. It's not a divine masculine who wants to show up in this reading today because he probably watches this uh, a lot and that's why he's coming up in the reading. Five of Wands, spiritual warfare. This could be one of the people who's actually waging spiritual warfare against me because I am exposing this. But I'm exposing this because they're watching in the first place. So if they stop watching, they I, I probably wouldn't pick up on their energy. <sighs> Because the thing is, if this person has asked the third party to watch for them, that still applies. Or if they download the video and show them later or explain to them what the video is about, that is still going to pick up on their energy. I can do that. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Yeah, this person works with a coven. He could be the leader of a coven. Yes, he is. Five of Cups, Five of Swords. Look, 555. Five, five. So this masculine is going to be forced to go for some kind of changes. Things are going to change in this masculine's life. How are they going to change? He's going to be defeated somehow. He could be made to, to look like a laughing stock. He might have to apologize for some kind of behavior here. How is this guy going to be humiliated then, if he wants to know so badly? How is this guy going to be humiliated? Humiliated. Eight of Cups. He's going to have to walk away from whatever he's doing right now he's gonna be it's like uh he's gonna become a forest hermit he's gonna want to hide away from everyone three of cups again also his coven is gonna walk away from him whatever group of people he's working with and definitely i'm getting that this person works with a group of witches and also he attracts a lot of attention from females um the three of cups could also be other men like him in this empress kind of energy, in a more feminine energy, these people are going to walk away from him, his little coven here. What do these people do? I mean, uh, who cares? It doesn't matter. That doesn't need to be that specific. But anyway, he's got some kind of coven, some kind of group, and the group's going to walk away from him. He's going to be uh, abandoned. Knight of Cups. <clears throat> What's with the Knight of Cups? Four of Pentacles. 
the Knight of Cups could be an apology. Again, he might end up apologizing for something. Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Four of Cups. Yeah, this, this person will have to apologize for possibly putting work on somebody. Like magic. Two of Wands. Yeah, this, this guy could be a seer or he's trying to remote view somebody or he's trying to... Um, Maybe even hack somebody's devices or to put some kind of, um, to plan some kind of camera at somebody's job or somebody's home, you know, to watch them. So he's going to have to apologize to, to the person that he, he could be gang stalking somebody. Is this guy gang stalking with a bunch of people here with a coven? Ten of Cups. Yes, he is. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups with his family members. This could be his family members. Or this could be the other person's family members. I don't know. But uh, people he considers to be like family. Even if it's not uh, blood relatives. Okay. Right. So. Um, somebody's having some issues here. Ten of Swords. There's a very painful ending coming for somebody. And uh, he's going to be betrayed. This masculine is going to be betrayed by somebody he considers his family. Yeah, I'm getting uh, that there is definitely gang stalking here because that's what I was asking with the Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles. There's a group of people, possibly family members, get gang stalking another one. Could be the Divine Masculine's family members are gang stalking him. Seven of Swords. So this person who's coming up as Divine Masculine in this reading is actually one of the... It could be the leader of the gang stalking pack here for Divine Masculine or maybe for Divine Feminine even. This could be somebody who's pretending to be their Divine Masculine, Seven of Swords. Somebody who wants to convince the Feminine that they are the Divine Masculine. Four of Pentacles, yeah, the, the mini Emperor here, but he's just mini. Two of Pentacles. Forty-two could be significant. Yeah, so this guy is pretending to be the yin to this Feminine's young, yang. That's why he's coming up in the Divine Masculine reading, but he's not a Divine Masculine. 25th of April could be significant. Six of Pentacles. Look, all the Pentacles are coming out here. So it could be that this Masculine is coveting Divine Feminine's uh, money. Six of Swords reversed. This could also be a past person. This Masculine here, who is actually a Karmic Masculine or a Karmic Twin or somebody who just wants to con convince the Divine Feminine that he's a Divine Masculine. Um, is somebody who could have hurt this feminine in the past. It's a past person who wants to return. Yes. That's their wish fulfillment. 19 could be significant. This person wants to communicate. This man wants to communicate. 98 could be significant. They could know each other from 1998 or... <sighs> they could have been born in 98 or something about that. Could be significant. And 19... 9th of January, 98, or 1st of September, 98, could be significant. I don't know. Anyway. 1998. Oh, okay, yeah. 1998, definitely. Look, 1998. <coughs> so definitely could be um, a significant year for somebody. Six of Wands, Ving victory, bingo here with um, Four of Cups. There was some kind of rejection here. Possibly it happened in 1998. I don't know. Two of Swords. There was a blockage. Maybe these people haven't been spoken, speaking since then. I can't even speak. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. On top of, of the Ten of Cups and Ten of Wands on top of the Ten of Swords. That's crazy. Look. All the Tens are out. So these people, they could have known each other maybe even for 40 years. I don't know with the Ten of Swords here. Four times. 40 years. They could have known for a very, each other. Why can't I talk? Jesus Christ. Uh, this masculine could have known <coughs> the divine feminine, who may resonate as a cross watcher in this reading, for four decades. Nine of Swords. And this guy could be anxious about something. Why is he got. What, what the hell? Oh my god. What? <laughs> What is this guy? <laughs> what is this guy trying to do here? Why is he knight of swords? He wants to talk to her. He, yeah, he wants to talk to her, see? He wants to have some kind of conversation here. 
with the Divine Feminine about what? About Queen of Pentacles. About money or about um, the fact that he believes this is his Divine Feminine. Is this a conversation about money? Two of Cups. No, it's about love. Yeah, he wants to convince her that they are divine counterparts. <sighs> King of Cups. He wants to convince her that he loves her. But it's a, co it's a confusion tactic here. He's trying to confuse her. He's trying to make her think that, yes, we are indeed counterparts, and I know we are counterparts and all that, but it, there's um, an ulterior motive to why he's doing this. Why is he trying to convince Divine Feminine that he is um, the counterpart? That he believes also that he is the counterpart? Because he wants money, okay? It's about money. He wants money. I think this Feminine, um, they could have a lot of money or they're coming into money. It could be. Yes. So this Feminine has been healing her heartache. And she's starting to manifest things with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Her heart has healed and now she can manifest better. Nine of Wands reverse. She's come out of some kind of trauma. And this trauma could have been caused by this masculine himself. So because she's coming out of this trauma and she's healing, she's manifesting um, a new beginning. Abundance. Yeah, she's walked away from what no longer serves her, which could be this masculine. And she's transforming. She's going through a transformation. Yes, and it's showing financially. Eight of Swords. So this guy's trying to trap this feminine because he wants some money. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Five of Swords. 85 could be significant. Some Something about the year 1985 could also be significant. <sighs> Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants money here. Does this masculine want money from the feminine? Or maybe he thinks she wants money from him. Does this masculine think the feminine wants money from him? Two of swords. No, I don't think so. I think he's the one who wants money from her. Ten of cups. That's why he was uh, trying to say that they want to have a family. He wants to have a family. Five of wands. Six of cups. But there's a lot of conflict here. He may want to apologize for some kind of conflict, some kind of bad behavior. If they were together in the past, if they had a family, maybe he caused a lot of conflict. Maybe he was abusive if they had a relationship. Yes, he was abusive. They were together and he was abusive and he wants to apologize. But it's because he wants her money. He thinks she has money now or she's coming into money for some reason. King of Wands. Two of Wands. He's watching her. Okay, this guy could be a psychic. This guy could be a spiritualist himself. Maybe he's a tarot reader. Maybe he's a seer. This guy could be very powerful. Could be very gifted spiritually. And he might see He might see that in the future, this Divine Feminine is going to make a lot of money. That's why he's coming in here. Anxiety. Also, he's anxious about... Yes, it's true. So he sees something in the future. That the feminine might not be able to see. And he's coming to take it. Am I right? Let's talk about this feminine's future then. What is she manifesting here? What is this divine feminine manifesting? Abundance, I think. Four of pentacles. Stability and abundance. So she is manifesting money. whether, But probably it's not showing up so obviously right now. But this guy might know. Like I said, I think this is somebody who can predict the future, who sees into the future. Or has made some kind of prediction. He could have done some kind of uh, birth chart, some kind of compatibility, some other things here. Uh, he could have... King of Cups. Look, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. He wants to be in a power couple here with this feminine. Maybe he feels like they are meant to be together. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands. Yes, yeah, so this is some kind of soulmate relationship here. And uh, also the feminine's making money. And he wants to bank on the fact that they're soulmates or twin flames. Yes, exactly. So he can take her money. He can take part in, in, in her abundance. He, ha he can have a peace, basically. 
yeah, so that's uh, what he's interested in, really. Okay. He's interested in the Ten of Pentacles, exactly. He wants money. And he thinks this feminine can help him make the money. <sighs> Seven of Wands, Three of Wands. 73 could be significant. Somebody could be born in 73. So, um, let's see. Seven of Wands keeps wanting to come out. So he's kind of like trying to come and block her path. Ten of Wands. To cause burdens for her. So that she could accept this reunion possibly. What kind of burdens is he c uh, creating here? Two of Cups. Uh, the burden he's creating is him coming in and uh, promising to have a commitment here. Telling her that they are soulmates or twin flames and then bouncing again. So I think this guy... I'm not sure what his purpose is because I thought he wanted money. But now it looks like he wants revenge. Maybe he wants both. Three of Cups is definitely a reunion. He wants a reunion. Maybe they haven't seen each other since 86 or they're born in 86 or something like that. Somebody could be born in March 86. They could be a Pisces. So he wants to reunite with his feminine. 23 and 86 could be significant. Somebody could have been 23 and 86 or I don't know, whatever. <sighs> This could be older people here. Four of Cups. Rejection. This could be a, a, a very old couple. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. But yeah, they've known each other for 40 years, I think. So there you go. I'm less than 40, so I think that's old, in my opinion. But who am I? Uh, Knight of Cups. He wants to apologize for having rejected this feminine or treated her badly or... Yeah. But it's because he wants, uh, he has some kind of interest here. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Yeah. He wants to rob her, basically. Nine of Pentacles. Because she's making money, she's starting to make money. 59 could be significant. Somebody could be 59. Yes, somebody's 59, possibly. King of Pentacles. This supposed Divine Masculine could be 59. I don't know. There you go. Seven of Cups. Yeah, he wants to confuse her to make her think that he is the Divine Masculine, that they're supposed to be together, and that's why he's going to apologize so he can have a new beginning. He can show him... <sighs> whatever, wish fulfillment. Anyway, this person hasn't changed. Five of Cups has changed, right? Knight of Wands. He's still the Knight of Wands. Yes, he hasn't changed. He's gonna say he changed. He's, he's sorry, but he hasn't. He's still the Knight of Wands like he was, I don't know, 30 years ago. 36 years ago. <laughs> I don't know. In 86. Knight of Pentacles reversed. King of Swords. It was reversed, but I put him in the upright. Let, leave him in the reverse, because that's how he is. Stunted. Emotionally... And mentally stunted. And financially too. Six of Swords reverse. That's why he wants to come back. Seven of Pentacles. Because he feels like uh, her money's been growing. This feminist money has been growing. Or his money's going to grow if he is with her. King of Pentacles. Yeah, he can become the King of Pentacles again. That's what he's manifesting. That's why he wants this feminine. Because he might see her as his lucky charm or something. And so he's coming up dressed up and... Uh, yeah. Offering a lot. But it's just words. A lot of words. That's what he's offering. It's a double-edged sword here. His tongue is a double-edged sword. Okay. So, what else? What else about this situation? Four of Wands. Again, there's a union happening here. Ten of Swords, but it's it's a it's a fake 
it's a betrayal, right? So it looks good on the outside, but this is a betrayal. This masculine is going to treat the feminine kind of like a like a prostitute and walk away again. He's coming to steal anyway. Three of swords reversed, four of swords reversed. 34 came out again, so something about the number 34. Look, 3, 4, 2, 5 of pentacles. So he's trying to block her abundance, basically. Or to steal something, to steal her abundance or block her abundance. To block her healing. Ten of pentacles reversed. Yeah, he doesn't want her to be happy. He doesn't want her to be fulfilled. He doesn't want her to have anything. <coughs> you know what? Uh, this masculine could be... Yes. he. I was thinking something and it says yes already with the fool. Uh, this masculine could have used this feminine as a battery bank. He could have been using her energy to manifest abundance for himself. And if this feminine has issues with... Her material abundance, if she's had issues for a long time with her material abundance, is it's because of him. So he's coming in to feed more. Five of Wands. Yeah, he's causing spiritual warfare to this feminine. He could also be turning people against her. Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords. He could be turning family members against this feminine. Or people who are very close to him. But I think all these family members are going to walk away from him. Two of Wands. Yeah, he's asking his family members to watch the Divine Feminine for him. Six of Wands. Victory, yes. Because he wants to have a sure victory with this Feminine. And he doesn't want... Um, he doesn't want the Feminine to know that he's watching. Uh, so he's asking his family members to watch. But look, I can see here... In this reading, I can see that even though he's not watching directly, he's asking other people. He's still coming up in the reading. So there you go. Yes, exactly. So he can't hide. At least not from me. So there you go. If Divine Feminine's watching this crap, know that this guy wants your money. This guy has been blocking your money too for a very long time. Maybe for decades. That's why he's the king of pentacles and you're just the knight of pentacles, right? Three of wands, because he's been manifesting. He's been sitting there and taking your energy from a distance, remotely. And you're being sapped here. You're being drained while he's being fattened like a tick. Yes, knight of wands. And he's still a child. He's still a player. He hasn't grown at all. He's been using your energy to grow himself, to make himself look like the king of pentacles. While well, he's forever yang here. I said forever yang, because that's what the song says. Even though supposedly he's forever young. Trapped. In his ways. Free of cups. He could. This could be somebody who always parties, who's, who's always about... Um, somebody who's very hedonistic. And they haven't changed. And maybe they haven't changed for 40 years. I don't know if they're 40 years or 50 or 60 or whatever. Yes, there you go. No, King of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed is um, hasn't grown up. He's not a king yet. He's not acting like a king. But you are a queen. And you're going to be the queen that you were supposed to be if you don't deal with this person. You need to cut this person off.